Okay, we're going to take a look at how we install Ubuntu. First of all, we need to head over to the Ubuntu website, which is ubuntu.com. And once you're on here, you'll see a little bit of information about Ubuntu. You can have a read through that. But this time, we're just going to take a look at how we install it. And it's pretty simple. So we click on Get Ubuntu. And you'll see here you get offered different install methods. And for now, we're just going to take a look at download and install. So we want to click on download and install. Now you'll see here that we want the latest version. Then we get an option of choosing 32 or 64 bit. If you know you're running a 64 bit machine and you want it to put it on a 64 bit machine, select this. If you're not sure, select the 32 bit. So then what we do, we just click on start download and this will start downloading Ubuntu. Okay, so once your ISO is downloaded, you'll find it in your default download area, depending on what you've got that set as. We've got a video on the channel showing how to burn an ISO to CD, and I'll link to that now. And I'm not going to cover that, just watch that video, and we'll now get onto the install process. Okay, I'm going to be installing this on a virtual machine, but the steps are the same, no matter what you're installing it on. Um, first thing to do is to set your computer to boot from CD or DVD, once you've burnt the ISO image, and again, I'll put a link here to how to set your computer up to boot from CD or DVD. Okay, so we drop the disk in, it's booting from disk, and we just let Ubuntu go through its install process. It's pretty straightforward and it's not really complicated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video and I'll just show you the key points as we go through the install. Okay, after the initial part of the install, we start getting into the graphical part of the installation. Okay, so now we're going to get an option of either trying Ubuntu, uh, which will run Ubuntu from the CD. You can go ahead and try that if you like. Just It'll just give you a, a bit of an indication as to what Ubuntu is all about. Also down the side here you'll see that we need to select our language. So in my case I've selected English. I'm not going to show you how to use the try Ubuntu. We're going to go straight onto the install. So what we do is we install Ubuntu. Okay, so this is just giving us a, a brief description of what we'll need. We need 4.4 gigabytes. Um, we need to be plugged into a power source and connected to the internet. Don't worry about this bit. This is basically for the updates, uh, which we can download updates while installing. Again, it's quite simple to update afterwards, but if you are connected to the internet, we can put a tick in that box there, and that way we'll, um, we'll do the updates as we go. But again, don't worry too much about that. And also install this third-party software. It's always best to install everything they offer if you can. And then we just click forward. And once we get this installed, I'll show you how that we can do the updates once you're connected to the internet. Right, this is where we make our selection on whether we want to totally erase the disk. If you've got another install of Windows there, it'll give you some extra options here. Again, this is a clean install on a clean computer. If you are going to format the drive if you're running any other operating system please make sure that your data is backed up before you do this because it will delete everything but again this is this is a a guide for installing onto a a fresh machine a, an empty hard drive um, which is why i don't have any other options on here and so i want to erase the disk so i'll make sure that that's selected and i click forward and this is now going to tell me the size of the disk and again I just click on install now and now we'll start the install process. If you're running Windows you can also dual boot this, you could have Windows and Ubuntu running at the same time. So here now you'll see that we select our time region and this is this is a nice little feature. I think it's a lot easier than um, than the Windows one. We can just click whichever time zone we want to be in. Uh, for my case I want to be in London and we click forward. Okay this is where we set keyboard layouts and I'm in the United Kingdom, United Kingdom there. Um, again, just select whichever country you wanted to um, to set up there, and we click forward again. Okay, so it's going to ask us for a few details, so we're just going to put a name in there. You can put anything you want. Enter a password, and it'll also tell you how strong your password is. As you can see, it thinks that's fair, so what I'll do is I'll try and make that a little bit more. There we go. I've got a strong one now. Um, I wouldn't recommend logging automatically. Uh, require password and you can encrypt folder your own folder if you like um, again it's easy enough to do at this point and um, we click forward after we put the details in the whole setup is pretty much like windows be it that um, you may see different options different screens but the, the, the options are still the same now you can have a flick through a little bit of info about ubuntu while the software is installing once the installation is complete we'll be prompted to restart now which we'll do Okay, that's just prompting us to remove the disk, so which we do when we hit enter. All we need to do now 
is if we enter our password okay so once you've done the install and you've done the restart you were presented with the uh, the Ubuntu login you log in and you'll be on the Ubuntu desktop. This machine's running the, the classic Ubuntu. It hasn't got the hardware to be running the uh, Unity. And to be honest, I quite like this anyway. I know where everything is. So have a play around with it. As I say, when we um, when we were in the install process, if you didn't install updates as you were installing, I'll quickly show you how to do that now. Go to Administration, and if we go down to Update Manager, single click, it's going to show us what updates we've got available. Okay, so you can see there's a few updates. So all we do is we install updates. It's going to prompt us for admin password, which we just put in like that, and then the software will be downloaded. Okay, so that's a quick look at how to install Ubuntu, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.